So good day, everyone. This is Nothing Conversations. And today I have with me right now is Terrence Stephens. Hi, Terry. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, Lana. <laughs> yeah. I've been with, I've been, I, I like last year of 2020, <laughs> I, don't, I I had a uh, one hour <laughs> intimate one on one with you, and <laughs> I don't know. I at that time I was I was like I don't know what do you call this. The word I want to use is desperate. <laughs> I was desperate to get the answer to whatever. I, I, I don't know I, I in my I don't even know why I'm asking those but I, I, from what from my standpoint last year I was like there's something in me that wants something that I don't know they, they call it liberation <laughs> they call it they call it what do you call this the the dissolving of the separate self <laughs> and what 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 do, what do you mean by the separate self dissolved <laughs> i don't know <laughs> what is it that wants Mm. What is it that wants? Yeah, like like maybe the 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 internal question, the questioner, or the I don't know what how to put it in words. Like the the longing, the longing of. You know that 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 there's something, there's something to gain, <laughs> like from, from my so, yeah. There. Okay, so what is it that lacks? The uh, I I <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think the 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 seeker. Let's say the, I, I'm gonna say the seeker. From yeah. personal experience, the seeker is <laughs> trying to to gain this. What everybody talks about: awakening, enlightenment, <laughs> and uh, there's an idea that this is like the ultimate goal of life <laughs> for the ultimate goal of the human the life the experience is self-realization <laughs> yeah. something like that okay. so what's the seeker The, the seeker, I guess, is the the human, <laughs> the human who, the me, the, the human who, seeker, seeker, someone who, who feels there's something lacking. <laughs> like there's a, a specific uh, goal to, to get to, to get to somewhere something so a moment ago you mentioned me what's the me the me the me is the <laughs> the me is the sense of identity i guess the sense of identity to the the sense of identity to to the you to the to the personality <laughs> to the to the to the to the to the labels to the name the, 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 like something like I am Leonard <laughs> so Leonard is the 
the human experiencer. <laughs> Leonard is the, what do you call this? Leonard is the, the one living on earth <laughs> with, with a certain nationality, <laughs> with certain identity, like uh, profession, career. And I think that's what I would pertain to as the me, <laughs> the every characteristic in the, in the background of the human being. <laughs> So the me that has all those attributes, where is it? I guess here, this yeah. this where? this body mind body where? mind form. Where? Whose body is that? Me will say mine. Correct. Yeah. Right. So if there is something there claiming ownership of the body, then that that is claiming ownership of the body can't be the body, can it? Mm, yeah. Something there claiming ownership of the body, correct? Yeah. Yes. That is the... That's my car, correct? Hmm. You know you're not the car, right? But you would claim ownership of oh, just a second. The you say, when you say that's my car, you know you're not the car, right? Yeah, I'm not the car, yes. Good. And you say my body, correct? Mm -hmm. Who's claiming ownership of the body? Hmm. Perhaps I would say I would say thought, maybe, because thought is the conceiver of <laughs> like but, thoughts are coming from, you know, and you know the Ramana Maharshi, <laughs> where do these thoughts come? I, I, I feel like that's a question unanswerable. Like nobody knows where it comes. <laughs> so I think the thought is saying, or the, the thought is the storyteller of, of, of uh, the invisible soap bubble that says, this is the body, this is my body, something like that. <laughs> okay, and, and who's aware of the thoughts? Hmm. The, the quickest, <laughs> if you if you ask that question, the quickest is, I would immediately answer. I am aware of the thought. <laughs> that is the quick. Good. And who's that? Is that still the mate? Then. <laughs> is it is it me that's aware of thoughts? Is it me that sees a blue sky? Is it me that says these are my thoughts? It is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is, yeah. And it's also me that says this is my body. Yeah? Yeah. Right. So a me is claiming ownership of the thoughts and ownership of the body, correct? Yes, it is. Good. So if you're claiming ownership of the thoughts, you can't be the thoughts. If you're claiming ownership of the body, you can't be the body. Now, where's the me? It, I don't, I... <laughs> it, it, it seems like the me is... Like if the me is the one claiming ownership, that this, is, this body is mine or... I am aware of the sky, this, this, this. I don't know. Maybe in the <laughs> in the imagination or in the conception of idea of the idea that, because the me is in a way I see it as when you ask that question, it feels like the me is just <laughs> just another idea. Or just another 
what do you call this? Uh, uh, just uh, an idea of ownership, I guess. But the me is, I don't, I don't know where the me is. <laughs> I can just speculate about the me is inside the brain <laughs> or the me is inside the body or the me is just like a thought arising from, or I can also say the me is, you know, like when you're a baby and you're given a name, an identity, and then that's the me. <laughs> that is the, what do you call this? The, the name, the personality, the attributes given to you by your parents, society, and that's the, and then you build a career, you're a doctor. So that's like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to locate the me except using my thought, <laughs> except using my, using, I don't know, thought. Like I can just speculate. <laughs> I can give thought. you a theory <laughs> about where yeah. the me is. Or a description. Perhaps a description, yeah? Hmm. Good. Is the description the described? Hmm. Is the description the actual? Like the description of me? Is it the me? No, it isn't. It, it, it's, I don't know, <laughs> I, it's. So without the description, what happens to the me? <laughs> the me is like, uh, hmm. it's, it's, I don't, it's, it's ungraspable. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to, how to, how to use description because descript describing the me is. <laughs> I don't know. Describing the me is also a description, <laughs> and the me is like just an idea. So basically, the me is nothing. I don't know. <laughs> It's it's a non-existent idea or entity that 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 arises from <laughs> from thought maybe. So basically, in a nutshell, perhaps the me is a two-letter idea with description. I guess <laughs> it's a thought. Basically, you know, in a word or in two in a phrase, the me is a thought. I should I should say. How does that sound? All I am is a thought. How does that sound? Mm -hmm. it, it's like... <laughs> does, that, does that sound enough? All yeah. I am is a thought. All I am is a thought. You satisfied with that? Mm, yeah, I think I, I think I <laughs> right now I would say yeah I am but like there was a point I wasn't and I don't know if, if tomorrow I still like you know I'm the the there's like oh, the then, then. If, we, if we've identified that me is a thought only, and I then ask you, are you satisfied with that? And then you go on to say, yes, I'm satisfied with that. Who is saying, yes, I'm satisfied with that? Remember, me is nothing but a thought. So who is now saying, yeah, I'm satisfied with that? I'm just a thought, yeah, and I'm 
totally satisfied that all I am is a thought. I think that one saying that is is just another thought, <laughs> or because my an it's a thought because I the, my answer is depend is coming from the conception of thought, and then I I what do you call this verbalize through through language, and then it's a thought answering a thought. I guess. <laughs> so who's speaking? Mm, thoughts. Thoughts are speaking to itself or to another thought, I guess. Yeah. Right now, that answer you just gave me, who spoke that? Hmm. I, I, I don't know. It's it's <laughs> it's the the vehicle, <laughs> the human, the the body, the body mind talking. Are speak. you the mind? Are you the mind? No. If I can conceive the are mind, you the are you the body? No, I'm not. Then it's not the body mind speaking. Who just who's speaking at the moment? Hmm. nobody <laughs> i don't know it's it's like i don't know what to and how to answer because i'm not the mind because i can conceive it obviously and i'm not the body i can see it i can i, I can like what i said it's it, i'm not the me and it's just it feels like it's just talking it's just talking happening on its own <laughs> and it and from and it's 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 what whatever i answer it's from the idea of coming from thought <laughs> and the thought is thought and body mind is not me because i can conceive it <laughs> so no, I, I, I don't know. It, it feels like no, there's no one. There's no one. There's just an idea that I'm answering. <laughs> or there's just an idea that there's someone saying I'm satisfied. But that's not me. <laughs> that's not. So where are you in relation to that? Hmm. <laughs> nowhere <laughs> I don't know it's like hmm. who just said nowhere hmm. no one I don't know no one <laughs> no uh, it who just said no one <laughs> like like talking like in a in a relative sense it's the the idea the the thought that this body with body parts with with brain like like let's say a robot <laughs> and then sp uttering words but definitely the body is not me the thought is not me and uh, it's just like talking hap talking is happening talking is happening and <laughs> conversation is happening 
And I don't know who is that. <laughs> I don't know who is that or what energy is playing out in the, in the background or who is, what do you call this? <laughs> who is playing the puppet strings? <laughs> but I don't know, it, I, I, but it's just an idea. It's, it's just a speculation. But in the... So, so right here, right now, do you feel real? <laughs> it's like there's just the a thought, an idea. But the feeling, the feeling of <laughs> the question, do you feel real? It, it, it's like, I don't know how to answer it. You know, when you ask the question, thoughts happen. <laughs> thoughts arise like, of course, you have the body, you have this, 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 and that. The, the sure, mental I'm, chat. Sure, sure, but I'm, I'm not really interested in thoughts. I'm not interested in thoughts. Do you feel real? Hmm. I, I still feel like I do. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Where is that being experienced? Like the presence of the body. Like there's someone sitting here talking and having the conversation that is the basis of the feeling of being real the the the, the presence of the body i i guess I, I guess that's where i'm coming from like yeah i think so I have to couch it this way, so forgive me. Yeah? No, it's okay. <laughs> Can your me experience being conscious? No, the me is the me is a belief on the ownership or the, a thought and or an idea. Me being conscious is like, do you mean like I'm conscious that I have a that there's a body here, or I'm conscious of thought, or I'm conscious of sensations, or and, and I'm is is that what what the me being conscious is? It was pretty clear. Is the me conscious? Uh, yeah. It is? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the me? <laughs> Consciousness. I don't know. Consciousness aware of everything. Like the me is aware of thought, aware of action, aware of idea, aware of senses. So it's conscious. You're not telling me what the me is. What is it? Is the me conscious? Yeah. What's the me? You've already you've already identified 
what the me is. What is it? You've already told me. What is the me? The me is consciousness? No. Or awareness? Or No. No. In the absence of thought, where does your me go? Nowhere. I don't know. It's it's non-existent without the thought. Like it, the me is a thought. So good. good. Stop right there. What did you just say? The me is a thought. Full stop. Now my question is: Is the me conscious? No. <laughs> because it's a thought. It's it's just an idea. It's just arising from thought. So it, it's it's something is aware of it, but it's not it. So so when me says I am conscious, is that a true statement? It's uh, an idea. It's an idea. It's a thought. But if if it's true, I guess it's not. It, it's because it's an idea. <laughs> it, it, All right. So it's, okay. So sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry. <laughs> just trying to not let your mind escape for the moment. I've got it cornered. All right. So is a thought. Conscious? No. Not at all. Good. And what's the me? A thought. Right. So is me conscious? No. So what's going on? Are you conscious right here, right now? <laughs> Is there an experience of being conscious right now? Let me ask you another question. Do you exist? No, I don't. Is there, is there a being there? <laughs> There's none. It's... You sure about that? It no, it, it it the 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 way I see it is there's thoughts. There's you decide for you to say there's no being here and there's no consciousness here. Would you not need to be there to say that? Yeah, I need to be there. <laughs> I need to be conscious to be to say that I'm not conscious. I need to be there to say there's no being or there's a being. Right. Good. So that's false then, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? In your direct experience right here, right now, you're conscious. There's a sense of being, of awareness. Yeah? And me has hijacked that and claimed ownership of that, like it does with the body, like it does with the mind, and me says, I am conscious. This is my consciousness. Who's claiming ownership of the consciousness? The me. I'll take it a bit, I'll take it a bit further. Yeah? Me says, I'm seeing. I see. I hear. I taste. I touch. I'm seeing. I'm hearing. 
I am tasting. I am touching. Who's that that's saying all that? Who or what is it that's saying, I am conscious? It's the, it's the me. It's the ownership to the... Good. What's the me? The me is a thought. It's thought. Good. Is a thought conscious? No. Can it experience consciousness? Can a thought experience consciousness? No, it's a thought. It's just... Uh... Good. <laughs> okay. So what's Leonard? It's a thought. It's... Good. Good. So Leonard, Leonard has a whole backstory. You can remember back to, I don't know, to the age of two, three, four, five, six, whatever age, right? Your earliest possible memory. Right, you can remember back to that, and then as you get older, the, the, you know you're able to remember more and remember more and remember more and remember more, and then right up till now, there's this big, huge backstory. Correct? Yeah. Huge, man! It's huge. The backstory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, that whole backstory is nothing but thoughts. What can a thought experience? Just, <laughs> just thought itself. Like thought can. We can, can, even, say can we yeah. even say the thought would have to be conscious to be able to experience anything? Can a thought experience another thought? No, no, not at all. It, it is just, just a thought. It ends there. It ends there with it, it being a thought and then... Good, good. So, your, so your whole, the whole backstory of Leonard, yeah? Did that happen? <laughs> it's just a thought. It, 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 the, it, question that, is, the question is... There's a big backstory there. Mm. I can remember going to school, and my first day at school, and I can remember this, and I can remember that, and I, and I had this experience, and I had that experience, and blah, 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 blah. What's actually been experienced? Right, right, right now it's thought. It, it if I, I, I just look. I'm, I'm talking about in reference to the backstory. You've got a huge backstory, hmm. a huge backstory. Yeah, and the thought says, "I experienced blah." Let's say I don't know. Um, I experienced snow for the first time when I was ten years of age. And you can remember that, right? Yeah. Is that statement true? That you experienced snow for the first time when you were 10 years of age? Is that statement true? Mm-hmm. Like, is like, that, like, in, statement true? Hmm, like in, a, in terms of... Who like, experienced the snow? Hmm, it... It's <laughs> hmm. It's like conceptually, it's thought. I, I don't know. There's everything is no, but I, I don't know. Like it's it's just, it's a memory <laughs> when you say who experience. They're looking back at your childhood memory when you were 10, it's a thought right now because it's a memory. And... Uh, okay, oh. so in the, in the actual experience of experiencing the snow, yeah? 
Who experienced that? Uh, yeah, no one experienced it. It's, 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 <laughs> it's not Leonard. It's not the child's experience. It's no one's experience because the idea of someone is just a thought and thought cannot be conscious. So it's no one's experience. In, it's, it's just Good. an experience. Good. So let's look at your whole backstory. Your whole backstory. What actually happened? I want nothing. <laughs> it's just hmm, in the there's in the backstory it seems like the me took ownership of the experience experience and then claimed it as it as it's leonard's it's leonard's schooling college it's Le this 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 but in actuality it's a thought it's a thought and then experience sensations <laughs> arising so what happened mm nothing it's just thoughts <laughs> it's just it's just sensations it's just life playing out with the idea that there's really nothing that happened except thoughts claiming it is it it's his own experience but without the thought <laughs> taking away the thought from the equation it's just experiences it's, 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 Can you say that the whole, uh, um, that, that Leonard is built upon this belief that Leonard has experienced all sorts of things in the past? It's all been my experience after all. I experienced going to school. I experienced the snow. I experienced my first dog. I experienced my first girlfriend. I experienced my first whatever. Is any of that true? No. So where's Leonard now? No, Leonard is just an idea. Leonard is now nowhere to be found. Okay. Except well, in so 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 now what? Hmm. I guess I guess life just happens <laughs> because Leonard wasn't there to begin with. So Leonard, life will just happen <laughs> with or without the story because the story is just a thought, unconscious, un or not conscious of itself. It's just, a, it's like right. What now is like? Hmm. Who's experiencing now? No, no, I. <laughs> there's no who to experience now. It's it's like it's just there's this. It's just now, <laughs> like the the like the who is like a thought, and answering it from that is like giving a, another thought. So I get, and there's no thought is nothing but invisible brain fart or popping. <laughs> It's it's no one to experience the now except there's just the now. So now what? <laughs> no, there there's there's just this. <laughs> there's just the now. Will that do? Does that feel good enough? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's good enough. Mm -hmm. So the seeking's over. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, exactly. Definitely. Completely, completely finished. Good. So now tell me about this now. 
Seeking's over. Tell me about this now. It's a direct experience, is it not? It is. <laughs> Tell me about it. It's been, it's like it's been here always. <laughs> it's been here. Now is always just the. Don't objectify now. I'm talking about your direct experience. Get out of your head. Stop trying to describe the now. What's your direct experience of now? Tell me about it. Like, hmm. I, it, it's hard to, uh, con to use words because words just, uh, description is from the, from I, from idea or from thought but it feels like just to 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 uh to describe it it's like it's indescribable it's like it's like empty in a good way not in a good way not in a bad way it's it's just free it's just uh untethered or it's it's calm. I, I don't know how to put words into it. It's like it's like air, whatever. <laughs> it's it's been there, but it's 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 just it's just free. It's just free. It's just in peace. It's just now. It, that that is. Can you still hear that you're objectifying it? Hmm. There are, I, I, I. <laughs> oh, hold on. Where's the subject that's objectifying that? The subject meaning the objectifier? Where is the objectifier? Yeah. No, there's no objectifier. It's just thought arising from one what do you call this one thought after another and then you know the awareness of there's an idea that <laughs> there's there's there, there there's no subject there's no there is no what do you call this objectifier or there's no one conceiver there's no conceiver of thought it's just there's just thoughts arising from somewhere like like so, I, I something like that <laughs> hmm. yeah just thoughts and when and when you when you're seeing like you are now, seeing, yeah. Look around the room. Do you see objects? Mm -hmm. Have another look. It is only a seer that would say, yes, I see objects. There's me and objects. So... Yeah. There's the notion of a seer and there's the notion of that seen. Yeah? Good. Now tell me about the seeing. Have another look around the room.
Now what do you see? It's it's it it's really quick to when there's a question thoughts quickly are you know when thoughts quickly arise and then the answer from here sounds it would look like it's it's an answer from thought but from direct seeing there's no seer <laughs> there's no one seer there's there's just the scene there's just there's just colors there's just i don't know there's just things around but yeah it's tell me about the scene the what seeing oh the seeing it the seeing is natural it's effortless it's 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 already seen even before the question was asked it's everything is seen without <laughs> without a seer with an effort to see it something like that it's it's everything there's just seeing Like, and what's the direct experience of that? It's it's effortless. There is no need for a for a subject to see. Like I cannot explain how I see it, or there's or if there's an eye, it's it's seeing is natural. It's it's. It's effortless. That's that's the direct experience of, of, of seeing. What's the seeing seeing? I'm sorry. What is the seeing seeing? <laughs> this the seeing is just seeing it's it's i don't know what is the seeing seeing there's no <laughs> it's it, like i can like and it's the, the 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 tricky mind is like saying it's the object seeing is this are the scene, but well, it would use the seer, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but but it's clear that there do it seeing can happen without the need of a seer because I can I cannot give you a how how I see it because it's effortless it, it, it it's everything is just directly seen Good. without a how Good. the seeing see objects mm. does the seeing see objects mm. no the seeing Like if I like, <clears throat> like this is like the mug or I don't know. The seeing is just an. Uh, <laughs> it's it's tricky. The mind says it does. The mind says thought says there's an object, and they're seeing like seeing, and then the scene. Yeah. So who's seeing the, the mug? We've come back to duality again, haven't we? 
as soon as the mind steps in, we automatically come back to duality again. Do we not? Yeah, we do. It's fast. Good. It's really fast. Yeah. So I'm trying to take you to the direct experience of just seeing. Does seeing see objects? No, not, not really. Not really. It's not, that's not convincing. Not really. It sounded like a belief. Yeah. It, <laughs> it, you're, it, you're, you're seeing right now, correct? Or mm. there is seeing right now, correct? Mm. Yeah. Is the seeing seeing objects? It, it <laughs> because the seeing is just seeing it, 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 it doesn't, it, it, I, it, it's, it doesn't need an object, whatever. It, it's, it's happening, exact, it's happening without effort, you know. When, when there's the, the the seeing is an automatic thing, something like that, and uh, the mind really, I the mind gets in like the object is an idea or a thought or whatever. So it's it's it feels like the mind is really quick to get in the way when you ask that question. Like is this is seeing seeing an object an object. And immediately the mind says yes, because like it's it's tangible, like it, you hold it, you see it. There are the, the the there are colors, there are shapes everywhere, something like that. And yes. there, you know, that's mind. That there creates the illusion of duality, right there. Mind steps in and says, yeah, sure, there's a mug. I can see a mug. I'm here and the mug's there. Mind's been doing that forever. That's what creates the illusion of duality. Or more to the point, that's what creates the idea of separation. Now come back to the seeing. I can't see what's in your space there, but for the sake of the exercise, find two objects that are separate from one another. Just find a couple of objects. You found a couple of objects? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Now go to the seeing. Are the two objects separate? No. From the from seeing it's <laughs> it's not separate. But the one that separates it is the idea, the thought <laughs> that they there are no, hold on. Yeah. There is no one that's separate. Is there? Go to the hearing. Yeah. Normally, there's a hearer and that that is heard, correct? Mm -hmm. Now go to the hearing. What does the hearing say? about the hearing. Nothing. What does the seeing say about the seeing? Nothing. It's What it, does the tasting say 
about the tasting? Hmm, really, nothing. Nothing. It, it says nothing. <laughs> is that not the direct experience? It is, yeah. And then mind comes in and overlays a story about the experience and then mind then believes the story and takes the story to be the experience. Can you see that? Yeah, it's very clear. Yeah. Got a big, huge backstory there in memory. Yeah, I was born such and such a year and my mum's name was Blah and my dad's name was Blah and I've got, I'm making this up, right? A couple of sisters and a couple of brothers. And I started school in whatever year it was and a huge, huge backstory there, yeah? And that story creates the illusion or the dream of a personal person, does it not? It does. It does. It's one, of really first, one of the first things that became apparent here was, oh, my God, nothing ever happened. Now, let me be clear. I'm not saying that experience in didn't happen. But the experience in itself makes no comment on the experience in. Like the see in makes no comment on the see in. Yes, there's been experiencing. And then the mind steps in and makes up a big story about the experiencing, the experience. Yeah. And then mind then has a memory of the experience without being able to actually experience anything, by the way, because the mind can't experience anything. That's why it makes up a story about an experience. Then it holds the story as a memory and takes the story as the experience and that then creates this personal idea of a me look at it look at you. look at the story look at it oh that whole backstory then that whole backstory yeah? mind steps in thoughts step in and make up a story about an experience, yet the mind can't experience anything. It's not conscious. For experience in to be occurring, there needs to be consciousness. And where do you find consciousness? Right here. You're conscious of mind, right? Flip it. Is mind conscious of this? that's conscious of it. Flip it. It's not, is it? Not, not. It's clearly, clearly not. So anything mind has said about anything is not based in experiencing. It's all made up. You can have two, I'll give you an example. You can have two people that go for a ride at, at an amusement park on some scary, horrible ride. Yeah, like those rides that just freak people out. Okay, you have two people, they both climb in the front carriage, both in the front seat. Yeah, they go on this ride, yeah, it's uh, spinning them upside down and looping, and finally comes back and pulls up. One person gets off and, and they say, that was the worst thing I've ever experienced in my life. I will never, ever, that was awful. I will never, ever do that again. And the other person says, man, 
Let's go and do it again right now. That was awesome. Same experience. The exact same experiencing. Two different stories. Which one's correct? There's no correct. It's it's both a story. <laughs> it's 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 two. It, it it's it's both. I don't know. There's no correct or incorrect in the. <laughs> it's it's like just, they're just stories about the experiencing, but the story itself can't experience the experiencing. Can't experience it. A thought can't experience anything. The whole backstory is based on thoughts. You know, those thoughts that can't experience anything. Nothing ever happened. Nothing ever happened. The experiencing doesn't comment. The seeing doesn't comment. The hearing doesn't comment. Tasting, touching, smelling doesn't comment. And yet that's the direct experience. Direct. Direct. And then in steps the mind and makes up a big story about whatever. Big story. And the biggest story it's got going on, the mind, is there's a me here who's present, Conscious, aware, being, saying this is my body, my thoughts, my life, my seeing, hearing, tasting, touching, smelling. That's a story. It's not true. It's not true. That's why we struggle when we try and pin the me down. What is it? Like if it was really, really, really like super evident that there was a me here, when we were asked that question, we'd just be able to go bang and answer it. Everybody struggles. Everybody struggles. That's a dead giveaway. Everyone struggles. Why? If we're so convinced me is here, why? Why is there the struggle? <laughs> it should be really easy to answer that. Yeah. You are not the mind. You are not in the mind. You are not what the mind is saying. Full stop. You are certainly, or there is certainly awareness of the mind. And up to this point, this that's aware of the mind, we've been calling me. It's not. Me is just a story. Me can't be aware. Me can't be conscious. It's a story. It's a thought. And yet, there's the direct experience of being conscious. Aware, being, that's what we miss. Why? Because we've been living in a story our whole life, often referred to as a dream. It all occurs in mind. All the mean, all the ideas about the world or about self or about other or about work, or about non-duality or about whatever, all occurs in the mind. And that then becomes a seeming reality, whatever's going on in the mind. you know. And there's a me here too, all going on in the mind, in a dream, a total dream. Yeah, you've got a me here, right? <laughs> Let's do it this you, let's, Let's do it this way. You get into bed, you fall sound asleep, 
and dreaming starts. Yeah. And yeah, your dream character arises in the dream. Yeah. Keeping in mind the body's horizontal on the bed, not going anywhere, right? Okay. And then a dream character arises in the dream. Yeah. And the dream character decides for whatever reason, yeah, or well, the thought occurs to the dream character, I'm going to become spiritual. I'm going to get into yoga and I'm going to get into meditation and, you know, might have, have a little bit of a look at Enneagrams and <laughs> I might become a Christian. No, I'm going to become a Zen Buddhist. This is all going on in the dream, right? Yeah. Okay. And the dream character in the dream is, you know, tries Zen Buddhism for a while and goes, oh, that's too hard. I, I, I just can't sit still like that. That's just, and nothing's happened. That, that can't be it. And it'll race off to something else. I don't know, of course, in miracles, whatever, right? And it's running from one thing to another, to another, to another. Then it finally, it stumbles upon non-duality. Oh, there's a big interest here. This sounds good. Yeah. Pretty left a field. That's appealing. It's out of the mainstream. Yeah. And then it runs from this, that saying, to that, that saying. Devours books. Yeah. Goes to retreats. Sits online at night for hours watching you know, <laughs> YouTube satsangs at one after another, after another, after another. Yeah. And it's doing all of that. Why? Because it wants to experience what it's like to wake up in the morning. The dream character wants to experience what it's like to wake up in the morning. What happens to the dream character when you wake up in the morning? It's gone. <laughs> it's can not the dream. Can, so can the dream character experience awakening? No. And yet, this is what's going on. Apparently. <laughs> Yeah. Then what happens? We wake up in the morning and go, Whoa, that was a dream. Wow, Whoa. glad that's over or whatever. Yeah. Or regretting. Damn, that was a great dream. Why did I wake up? Oh, right then. Oh, right. Wake up in the morning. You go, Oh, there's the instant acknowledgement upon awakening in the morning that you've just awoken to a dream. To a dream, not from a dream. You've awoken to a dream. Oh, that was a dream. You don't take your, that character in that dream to be you that's now here that's going, oh, that was a dream. It's a dream character. Then a split second later, another dream kicks in. And we don't know. And then here we go again, Leonard or whoever, yeah, walking around. I'm not saying you're doing this, I'm making it up right now. Leonard walking around, going to this sat saying and that sat saying and reading books and sitting with teachers and sitting up all night watching YouTube videos of non-dual teachers and blah, blah, blah. Why? Because Leonard wants to wake up. And all the teachers keep saying there is no Leonard. And then Leonard goes looking for no Leonard. <laughs> Until it finally dawns. You wake up from the second dream. And realize nothing happened, just like nothing happened in the first dream. 
when you wake up in the morning from a sleeping dream, when you've been asleep on it, you realise nothing happened, right? You know that cars or hills or buildings or people or whatever that you saw in the dream, when you wake up in the morning, you realise that was all imagined, right? There wasn't a car, there wasn't a people, there wasn't, yeah? It wasn't actually real, purely imagined, yeah? Mm. It's the same. It's the same. It's the same. We just don't realise we slip from one dream to another so rapidly and we don't realise it. Then we walk around in everyday life living in our head, living in thoughts. Thoughts are creating a Leonard character, the world, and thoughts are creating other people, you know, things and stuff. And <laughs> thought will say that tree is separate from that tree and I'm here and that's over there. And dual Thoughts, they work dualistically. Of course they're going to say that. That's the nature of thoughts to say that. <laughs> but all thoughts do is describe. But here's the irony. Thoughts described based on thoughts not being able to experience anything. Now it's a dream when you see that. Thoughts make up all these stories about a seeming life without thoughts being able to experience. If a thought's not conscious and a thought can't experience anything, what the hell is it basing the story on? What's it basing the story on? Pure imagination, my friend. Pure imagination, just like in the dream. Pure imagination. And there's no person imagining. The person's being imagined. The world is being imagined. <laughs> so, at the end, so at the end of the day, what is it? What is it that wakes up? Can't be a Leonard. We've clarified what that is. Yeah. So what is it that wakes up? <laughs> that 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 one was like a hanging question earlier but when you i don't know it's like there's no one that wakes up it's like when <clears throat> yet there's a waking isn't there hmm. yet there is a waking yeah Wake her. I haven't awoken to something. I haven't awoken to something. Yet there's awakening. Ing. It's always in the ing. See ing doesn't discriminate. Seeing doesn't think. Hearing doesn't think. And that's the direct experience. That's what you're experiencing now, seeing. Stop taking yourself to be that. <laughs> yeah. So. And really. That's it. Now, one needs to look for themselves, 
and see for themselves whether or not anything that's come out of here is true or not. See for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. See for yourself. Don't take it. Don't take it as a belief. Oh, I believe what Terry. No, 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 no. As soon as that starts happening, people put people on pedestals, and religions are born. Oh, the great sage Terence. Crap, I don't have anything you don't already have. I don't have anything you don't already have. Nothing. Zero. Yeah, because that's a trap. That's one of the subtle traps, right? That, that, the, the subtle fine line between direct experience and belief. Like, like it, it's, it's like a trap where... <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to distinguish when you're on a where you're on a guruified space or or you're on a space where there, there's I don't know it's it's a fine line. It good that you mentioned that it's it's easy for everyone to put people on the pedestal. To, to create a religion out of it or a belief out of it without investigating. There seems to be two methods. One is self-inquiry and the other one is just complete and absolute devotion. complete absence of self altogether. And there's just an absolute outpouring of love towards, sometimes it can be a teacher. Yeah. Um, sometimes it could be an idea of God, but there's still just a complete outpouring. Yeah. I kind of like, like the middle ground there somewhere. It's a bit of both. Mm, yeah, I see that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and mo most people go down the self inquiry route. Yeah. That means mind wants to know. That's okay. That's just a way. Yeah. And then I go, go oh, okay, right. So I think, all right, now I've got to dismantle them. Now I've got to dismantle this person's belief. So, which is the, you know, it's the mistake people make when they're on this spiritual path. There's this belief that me is here and now I'm now on a path and, and somewhere in the future, I'm going to feel better. I'm going to find something. I'm going to discover something and I'm going to feel better. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas this way, it's the complete opposite. Let's go looking for this me that believes it's on a spiritual path and lacks and needs something and somehow in the future it's going to feel better. Let's go looking for it. Let's not just assume there's a me here. Let's literally go looking for it. So this particular method is about coming to see what you're not first. If, if that's not done then what you're not, yeah, which is just mind, yeah, what you're not is going to go searching for its true self. What you're not is going to go searching for the true self. <laughs> not, even, not even pausing for a moment to ask the question, if I'm in search of true self, what does that say about current self? Can't be true. <laughs> and it doesn't do that doesn't dawn on people. I'm I'm just trying to find my true nature, my, my true self. <laughs> 
glaringly obvious that 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 then is trying to find true self can't be true self. It must be false self. And what about false self? If it, if if it was able to find true self, right? False self. Right? False self. You know, after many many years of practice and this and that, one day finally flukes and it finally stumbles upon true self. Now, what the hell are you going to do? What are you going to do now? False self has finally found true self. Now, what are you going to do? Doesn't work that way. That can never happen, by the way. False self can never find true self. But true self can start to unravel false self, which is mind. It's just mind. Yeah. Not once during this conversation have I been speaking to Leonard. You waste of time. Leonard's not the true self. Yet they're speaking. Yeah. And it's only It's only the truth that can recognize false. That's why false stumbles around in the dark trying to find the truth. And it can't find it. It's false. It can't recognize truth. Truth can recognize false. Yeah. So often people think I'm speaking to them, their own personal little me. I'm never talking to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. <laughs> exactly. well, probably say, it still does. Um, I'm speaking to that I am, that I am. That presence, that I am. This presence that you are. It's not two points of presence. It's not two points of consciousness. Mind will say there is. Why? Because mind works dualistically. You're conscious over there and you're conscious over there. That's all mind could do and say. But in the absolute direct experience in the absence of mind, there are no two points of consciousness. It's one Consciousness. Not 8 billion people walking around on the planet all with their own separate little experience of consciousness. All saying, I'm conscious. There's no one there. There's not, a, there's not a person here to be able to claim that I am conscious. That would be mind again. So it's coming to see what you're not. Absolutely coming to see what you're not. That's the way through. Don't go looking for what you are. Whatever you do, do not go looking for what you are. Because that that's looking for what you are is not what you are. It's false. It's mind that goes looking for what you are. The seeker is the mind. The mind is dualistic. How the hell is the mind going to be able to know what non-duality is? Its nature is dualistic. It can't. Yet it's mind that's the seeker and it's looking and, and it wonders why it can't find it. Hilarious. It really is. <laughs> so you just come to see yourself. Look, just look, look. Everyone's in the box seat, the best seat in the house. You're in the best seat. You're in the best seat in the house, Leonard, to look. I'm not privy to your personal little inner world. You are. Watch how it operates. Oh, and by the way, from where I'm sitting, I don't see a me.
I don't see a me. Flip it. Do you see a me here? No, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Yet the experience from here is, oh, I am me. Well, what the hell is that? Mind. Only. Now, here's the, here's the irony. Yeah. When we miss this, you're aware of mind. How can you be that? How can you be mind if you're aware of it? How can you be thoughts if, you, if you're aware of all the thoughts? Now, how? All of it, yeah. <laughs> it's what Nasaga Dada taught. This is what Bob taught. A lot of people. Yeah. Don't or stop assuming there's a personal person here. Go looking for it. Let's see if there's one there. Let's see if there's even one there that even needs help or guidance or, or teaching. Or... <laughs> it, it's like when, I don't know, when I, When I started the, the Zoom, there there are there are series of hanging questions, but now it's like who's asking? <laughs> it it it's it 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 it's it, it, and I, I I it it's how the it's how it unfolded, but it it wasn't it was just who's asking the question. <laughs> I I wanna if I think maybe the last question is, do you still hold your uh, weekly or monthly uh, sad songs or you do your one-on-ones or you, you still have website that people can can reach you so that, yeah. <laughs> well, I think it's, it's www.terencestevens.com.au. Oh, yeah. I, like I think that's it. Um, yeah, there's three satsangs a week. Uh, 7.30, the times are on the website, but 7.30 a.m. on a Monday, 7.30 p.m. on a Wednesday, and 11 a.m. on a Friday. Um, and that's all Melbourne, Australia times. Um, and I also uh, make myself available to do uh, one-on-ones with people. And people can go to the website if they like, check that. Come and sit in on our satsang. Come and do a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm here. This is what's happening. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to put it on the description box <laughs> so people can easily access it if they, they if uh, very easily. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's really, <laughs> it's been a pleasure talking. It's, it's really, I'm really grateful that this happened. <laughs> Thank you, really. <laughs> a pleasure. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs>